everyone, Cody here. And today I wanted to pray against the spirit of abandonment. But before I do, I wanted to read a scripture I thought was relevant. So here it is. Um, it is Isaiah 41, 10. And I'm actually reading it out of my uh, Bible verse tracker. So if you want to check this thing out, it's on Amazon. Very simple, um, just pages for you to write down scripture so you can learn to memorize it. Uh, anyway, the scripture is Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. You know, um, it's important to remember that, like, that God is always with us. Um, and, and I know that sounds cliche. I get it. And that may not help you physically. You might feel emotionally um, or mentally abandoned, and maybe even physically. Maybe you just got out of a tough relationship. Maybe you escaped some kind of trauma or abuse, or maybe you were physically abandoned by somebody who was important in your life. When I, I grew up without my dad for many, many years, I didn't meet him until I was in school, I believe. And then I, even then, I only saw him every now and then. And then eventually he actually passed away uh, almost 10 years ago. And, um, and even now I feel like he left me in a sense. And it's not like it's his fault. He got sick and he died. But, you know, it, I, I dealt with that for a long time that I felt abandoned by my father. Um, and then eventually I realized, like, you know, I still got some time with him. And I was even grateful to, you know, looking back, I can be very, very uh, grateful for the time that I got with him. But anyway, I wanted to pray for anyone who feels abandoned or that Satan is attacking them in some way to make them feel abandoned or isolated, like that God doesn't care, that nobody cares about them. I just want to pray against that. So if you want to close your eyes, I'm going to pray for you. All right, Father, I just thank you for any person watching this that is dealing with this issue. I just pray against this uh, feeling of abandonment right now in the name of Jesus. If this is a, a spiritual attack, I just, I break it in Jesus' name, and I pray that you would cast it out. Any unclean spirits, any uh, strongholds or bondages over this person that is keeping them in feeling like they are alone in the world, like they, that no one cares about them, that they have no one to turn to, and that you yourself don't even care about them, Lord. I just break those lies in Jesus' name. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just come and you would pour yourself out upon them to let them know that you love them. You are their God, and you've been with them through everything that they've ever felt, even when they felt physically or mentally or emotionally uh, abandoned. You were in those situations, and you cared about them. So I just pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just come and you would comfort them the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is the comforter. So, Holy Spirit, I just pray that you would just pour yourself out upon them and lift them up. Just show them that you care deeply about them, that they are not alone in that situation. And I just break all those lies of the enemy to tear them down and make them feel, you know, that this crushing weight of, of being alone. So I just break all of that in Jesus' name. And I just pray that you would strengthen and encourage this person to be able to continue um you know, pressing forward, even if it feels like um, they're not going to get through this, even if it feels like they're going to be alone forever because they have believed that lie. Um, I just, I pray against that in Jesus' name. And the Bible tells us that our heart is desperately sick and deceitful. Um, who can understand it? So sometimes our feelings lie to us. So I just pray against those lies. And I pray that you would just put people and resources in this person's path to help them get out of this rut. So I just ask for more of you. I thank you for everything that you're already doing in their life that they don't see. And I just pray against all attacks in the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.